Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to JMAC Sports Cards. My name is Jason. Thanks for tuning in to another one. Quick, uh, small collection pickup here. A subscriber of the channel, Chuck is his name. We, we've done a deal in the past, so there's some trust that have been built. He reached out to me, said he got a, a PSA submission back, and uh, was wondering if I was interested. I looked it over. You can see that there's a lot of ultra modern in it, but there's some some good stuff. There's good quarterbacks, some Brady, some Rodgers, Josh Allen. And um, so it seemed like uh, something I'd be inter interested in where I normally, uh, I'm really straying away from purchasing very much ultra modern at all. Um, but this one was packed with value. And uh, so what he, he was very uh, meticulous and he comped all all the cards, the every single one. And um, he said he would accept an offer of 75% of, of recent comps. I reviewed his comps, we were off on some. Uh, we adjusted them. A couple of them have been sliding down. So he was taking an average of the last two or three sales where I um, took on the ones that were sliding down. I was like, I'm not going above the lower end, end of the uh, sale. And then I said, I can't do more than 65% because these are ultra modern. This one's uh, Josh Allen heavy. Uh, or there's some, some pretty decent uh, Josh Allens in here. And if Josh Allen goes out, then this is not going to be, it's going to lose value very, very fast. So uh, we agreed on 65%. He, he took one card out that he had that was included. So that was sort of the um, middle ground we met at. We, we, we met on all the comps, made sure we, we both felt good about the comps. He, he did accept the 65%, but he took one, one card. It was a one Josh Allen. Um, he, he's a Bill, Bills fan. So, uh, But thanks, Chuck, for the deal, man. And, um, and here I'll just run through it. We'll take a look at what's in here. So there's a Fields, so I can get this right, PSA 9, a Mac Jones, just base, uh, PSA 9, Disco Prism, uh, Davis Mills, uh, Hide Your Mother, Zach Wilson, PSA 10, Jonathan Taylor, PSA 9, Rated Rookie, Mac Jones, remember this card was like 500 bucks, three to $500, that was an insane time. When this product hit, because everyone was so eager for some football, and I mean, I can't believe people paid that much for that card at that time. It's like a forty or fifty dollar card now. Sam Ellinger, um, PSA ten, uh, not worth very much either. Um, and then this one uh, was I, we did uh, negotiate on this one because there was higher comps on this one. And then right after he got hurt, it was a real low, a much lower comp. And I told him, yeah, I'm, I'm at the lower comp because he's hurt. And news hadn't been released uh, quite yet on, on the determination of the injury. Now, it has been since determined that he supposedly is going to be coming back. Um, so this, this could be a good one now. Um, you know, I think people were freaking and they sold. So um, I think it'll recover a little bit from that news. So um, I feel like it can pretty, probably do pretty okay on that one. There's Gabe Davis, PSA 10, Orange, uh, Disco Prism. There's the nine, Gabe Davis, Red Ice. And Gabe Davis sells it really, really well, and, and all the bills do. Um, it's probably the cream of the crop as far as QBs. Uh, Trevor, PSA 10, Gridiron Kings. Here's uh, another one we had to negotiate on the comp on because um, this one was uh, kind of all over the place. This one sells sometimes for 300 sometimes for 200 150 all over the place. But it's a field level silver prism uh, it's a beautiful card no doubt about it and when two is hot this will be this is a hot card when he's not this is not a hot card but uh, stuff there's stuff like this in it which made it very appealing i mean this all day long uh, all day every day you know this is the kind of card that sells moves one of the easier cards probably in the hobby even in a nine nine or tens of these so do really well so excited about that didn't really do any research on this one Oh, one over there. I don't know if this is, is that his rookie year? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's a 10 and it's a Tiger. So kind of neat. And then this looks really good. Red, white, blue, prism, Saquon. And he's came back pretty strong this year. So, so not bad there. So that's that stack. Really nothing crazy in that stack. A ETN. This is a RPA. We'll call it a three color. It's white, gray um, because of the stitching and black. And then uh, it's the 249, and we got an SEC 9.5, which this is a thick stock card. And uh, I mean, that's a tremendous grade. Um, so that's pretty solid. So really nice. Really like that one. 
And ETM, he's doing pretty good this year. I know he got hurt and was out one game, but I think he's back already. Had a little off game, but you know that's the thing about these ultra modern players. You got it's all about the performance week to week. That's why you don't I don't deal in this very much anymore, or, or I've moved away from it because it's just a no win situation. You know, with um, these you got to move them fast. So Prism uh, ETN variation silver, very nice. Actually, doesn't say I know it says variation, but it doesn't say silver Prism on it. Red Ice Prism, ETN, nice, beautiful card. SGC 10s are real deal, they're tough. So here's the Allens, so we got this uh, Passport, I love the way these look. Uh, you know, I wish it was uh, Bill's logo on it rather than the college, but this is Prestige, like the first product that comes out. So there's um, there's one, there's the first 10, all the Allens are 10s. A score, 10, rookie. Another score, 10, rookie. Then some of the better stuff here. There's a Josh Allen Optic PSA 10, just base, but still does that card still does really well. And then there is a Don Russ uh, PSA 10 as well. So you got the Optic and the paper. Nice uh, Aaron Rodgers Tops rookie PSA 8. Um, and then a, a PSA 9, same card. So. That's pretty nice. Couple Brady rookies here, and uh, this one. So it's got a six, and uh, I think I'm gonna look this one over really well, and potentially crack it, send it to SGC. But either way, it's a Brady rookie, and they sell, they move. It'll it'll sell on a six too, but and and there's also a seven here, so nice. You know, eight, nine, or ten would be nicer, right? But still, Brady rookies. And then one more Brady here, a 2004 Fleer Ultra, and that one is a PSA 9. So, very cool looking card, no doubt about it. And I love early Brady stuff anyway, so. Um, so, that is the collection, and like I said, uh, I want to thank Chuck again, and I'm always open to anyone who's um, wanting to send stuff out, uh, send pics, send, send a bulk lot, send... So, I mean, I'm, I'm trying all kinds of different ways to buy collections, but it's got to be the right price and it's got to be the right deal and it's got to be the right stuff. I mean, um, you know, it's just, there's just so much junk that people try to offload and just can't buy it. But stuff like this, I could buy a uh, collection like this because this is all liquid, you know, this is all liquid stuff and stuff. Um, but um, obviously it's kind of stuff you got to move quickly or you could get stuck, as they say, holding the bag. So... Um, except for something like the the Brady's and Rogers, the, they don't necessarily have to move that fast. They, they're kind of um, staples, and, and the Allen and what well, Animal Holmes as well. So, but yeah, excited about this one, and uh, I'll probably ship off, you know, um, like 19, 20 of them over to a consigner and to move them fast, and um, and, and that's how I do it. That's how I move in uh, this market is get them, move them, and uh, yeah, that's that's what it's all about. So. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. Thanks again, Chuck. And uh, that's all I got on this one. Till the next time. Hope you guys have a great holiday. Deuces.